Well, the round 17 fixture wasn't the only important news out of League HQ today. A shock departure, Steve Hocking has resigned as General Manager of Football Operations and he'll be returning to Geelong at season's end as the Cats CEO. It's been extraordinary. He's brought improvement to every aspect of the game, whether it's the growth of AFLW, expansion of mental health and welfare initiatives across the clubs, rule changes that opened up the game and made our game more spectacular, or the development and implementation of the ARC and the ongoing development of umpires. They don't come up very often, particularly the Geelong ones. I think it's 23 years ago it was last um, vacant. So um, certainly uh, I didn't sit back and, uh, you know, if I miss this opportunity, I may not have got that opportunity again. So I've clearly got a long, long-term relationship with them, Tom, as well. I started there as a 17-year-old back in 1983. So um, there's a lot of history there for me and uh, I've been fortunate to be in this role and... Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed it and I think the time's right to, to take this role up and I'm thankful for the, the Geelong board and Craig Drum to, to uh, you know, select me for that role. Well, he's not mucking around either because he finishes up on Thursday. You followed this story. Was it a surprise to many? Oh, it was a very much a surprise today. I rang one chief executive and I said, geez, what a surprise. He goes, no, not really. I, I was, we always thought he was going in for the, for the Geelong job. I think the Cats have been... <laughs> they earmarked him a couple of years ago, four or five years ago, to, to follow Brian Cook, but Brian Cook's a little bit like Sean, Sean Burgoyne. He, he didn't want to retire, he wants to keep playing, and Cook, he stayed, so Steve Hocking left. Um, uh, they made him a really big offer. Um, it's a really demanding job, the f head of football at the AFL. Yeah. I couldn't think of a worse job in football. No, it's not a know. popular job, is it? No, it's not. And Steve Hocking, I don't know about you, Kath, but... Uh, I think Steve Hocking has done a really, really good job. Now, it depends on where you sit with rule changes and where you thought the game was three years ago. I thought the game was in a real mess three, three years ago. And I think, I think Hocking's come in and, and made some really pivotal rule changes to open up the game. We were getting swallowed. Our game was getting swallowed by congestion. I think the stand rule, I think the 666... I think allowing the extra 15 or whatever it is, 20 metres coming out from full-back has really opened up the game. The game is far better to look at than what it was before Steve Hocking arrived, so I'll give him a tick for that. He, he's pretty ballsy sort of a bloke. He, he really is ballsy. Like, the, the, the David McKay incident two weeks ago, that was the biggest talking fo point in football, I reckon, for a long, long time. Steve Hocking didn't apologise. He said, no, 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 I will continue to push ways to improve the safety of this game for the players. And it's not just at the highest level, it's at the junior levels, it's at the, um, you know, the, the community level. And I, I just think he had really strong conviction when it's a job, Kath, that everyone wants to throw darts at. And I, I, I actually think he's done a, a really, really good job. Others may disagree, but I think he's done a, I I think he's done a very good job, actually. He's a good media performer as well, in terms of press conferences and... He never got emotional, did he? He was... Uh, he, he, you've got, I think whoever takes this job, you've got to have a calm head. And I think Hocking has always had a calm head and I think you really... You really need that. And as you're talking about his, his press conferences, he can get asked some stupid questions. But he never... He never and he can get pushed. He never bit back. He never bit back. Have you got... And I've got to, there's a couple of player, people out there who have already sort of jumped on the list of uh, possible contenders. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. So Andrew Dillon takes over in the meantime. He's right? like their he's like their general Just manager, Medi Medi sub. He's their sub. <laughs> Whatever happens at the goal at the AFL, Andrew Dillon, you go in and fix yep. for a while. Can so you? he's he's in the job from Thursday because well, why so sudden as well? Thursday he's leaving. Well, he's accepted. He's, the, he's, yeah, he's, he's accepted not, the role. He's he's not taking on Cat until the end of the season. So why not see out the season? Well, there's another example of integrity. The AFL goes on about integrity all the time and people question their integrity. I don't think I'd ever question Steve Hawking's integrity. He's been appointed chief executive of an AFL club. I don't think it's right, and he quite rightly doesn't think it's right, that he works all through this season knowing he's going to a club next year. Yeah. He's it's got to walk away. Mm -hmm. He's got to walk away. Now, the people in line for it... Now, Brad Scott... Brad Scott's an obvious candidate. He's really well liked at the AFL. He's coached club player level, so he's got club land experience. He's been working at the AFL. He's now boss of the AFL Victoria. Um, he's been on the competition committee. He's an obvious candidate. 
Um, Vozzo at West Coast, head of football at West Coast. Operator. Yeah, Davies at um, Port's another one. I, I, I would think, and I spoke to someone about this today, would you approach a current CEO to go into that role? Now, Brennan Gale is one, but he's not who I'm talking about. I, I, I would think Sydney's Tom Harley would be a person that the AFL should be interested in. Mm -hmm. He's calm, he's cool, he's got respect throughout the industry, he's been at Clubland, he's been a player. Um, and I think, I think a lot of those boxes he ticks really, really strongly. Well, he'd been in a good mood today, wouldn't he, after yesterday? He might not want to leave Clubland, no. Who wants the job? Well,